Um, in the few minutes available to me, I want to um, address the issue of uh, housing uh, in the in the budget, and particularly uh, the question of uh, social housing, and indeed the whole question of uh, evictions as well. Um, the proposals in respect of the social housing in this budget are grossly inadequate. Housing is a fundamental right of human beings, but. Shamefully, the Taoiseach has actually written to the EU seeking permission to borrow the money required to build social housing. <laughs> Ireland doesn't even have the sovereignty to house its own people. There are 140,000 uh, families on local authority waiting lists as we speak, and in the first four months of this year, an additional 3,527 um, have, have been added to that figure. And this probably underestimates the actual situation, because people who are now availing uh, of the housing assistance pay payments, formerly a rent supplement, are now being removed from local authority lists. We need an emergency house building programme of at least 10,000 houses per year to address this, uh, the, this whole housing uh, situation. And the 47,000 houses targeted by this government between now and 2021 it will fall far short of dealing with the problem. We will end up in 2021 as we are today in a housing, in a housing crisis and in a housing emergency. And that brings me to the whole question of a housing emergency and the absolute necessity uh, to declare a housing emergency. Minister Coveney said publicly in July that he believed we had a housing crisis. And indeed, Minister Donoghue signed off on an emergency uh, to ensure that public service pensioners uh, were deprived of their pensions early in the, re in the year under the FEMPI legislation. But the con the, the, this government are refusing to declare a housing emergency. That emergency declaration is absolutely necessary to ensure that people who are facing eviction, uh, that, that, that those evictions are stopped, both generally and in rented and in mortgaged properties. Uh, the government, and also in relation to evictions, the government are through the banks it owns itself, in other words, Allied Irish Bank's permanent TSB, are effectively allowing uh, evictions. And they are also uh, allowing evictions, you know, through other banks, through, la through landlords, including vulture funds. Uh, and these evictions are continuing. Uh, and as a result, there are many unfortunate families who have been devastated by, uh, by suicides. So it's vitally important and absolutely essential that a housing emergency is declared to ensure that these evictions are stopped uh, and stopped immediately. And that indeed, uh, Las Cionkorla, brings me to the shocking and indeed horrific uh, eviction attempted last week uh, in Clan Lara in County Clare. Uh, and I want to ask, and indeed I want to demand, that the Minister for Justice instructs the Gardaí to investigate the conduct of security companies at that failed eviction of a family at Clan Lara in County Clare. And I want the Minister in particular to establish what security companies were involved in that failed eviction. Did those security firms possess an execution order for taking possession of that family home? Did they present an execution order to the owners of the property? If they had no execution order, if they did, or if they didn't present it to the family, were they guilty of trespass? Were all the security firms involved in this horrific event were they licensed in accordance with the law? Had all the individuals involved in this attempted repossession, had they legal authority for their actions? 
Where are all the individuals registered employees of the security firms? Were children unlawfully detained during that incident? And were all involved acting on behalf of the Bank of Ireland, in which the state has a significant shareholding? This last Kionkora was a shocking and horrific attempted eviction, thankfully failed. And in a year when we celebrate the 100th anniversary of 1916, when we promise to cherish the, all the children of the nation equally, what would Pierce, what would Connolly, what would the proclamation signatories think of the eviction battering ram of 2016? And I want to compliment the family, their friends and their neighbours, and indeed the anti-eviction task force who successfully stopped this eviction. People power stopped this eviction, and people power will force this government to stop evictions and to declare a housing emergency. And the sooner this government does that, the better. For a moment. Uh, and I